Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kodobo Space Program, where today we are going to be taking a look at another interesting mod in the form of the Science Alert mod, because hey, who doesn't like to science? And for that, we're going to need to go back into our old Kodobo's career save here. And, well, this mod is quite interesting and I absolutely love it, because one of the problems I see with the science system in the game is that you don't always know when to actually record your scientific data. If you just randomly go about it, you could just be collecting completely pointless data and you'll just be trying in a more of trial and error. Uh, this mod, though, uh, the Science Alert mod by Evil Reapers on the forums, alerts you to when you can actually do science. So if we go to the launch pad where I have a science satellite waiting, I'm gonna be quiet here for a second so you can hear an interesting sound when we start. Wait for it. Oh, waiting a bit more. There we go. You get that little sort of Diablo potion type sound there, the little plunk and you get this animated icon that tells you that you can in fact gather science at this very moment with one or more of the scientific pieces of equipment on your ship. So if we left click this, it'll show us the available experiments and you can just click that button and it will do said experiment. And like I said, with that, it'll show you all available experiments. So if you have multiples, it'll light up all that apply and you can just keep the data and you're good to go. But the cool part about this, besides just warning you when you can actually do science, is that you can have it basically stop time for you if you're warping and just all sorts of settings. So instead of left clicking, if we right click instead, we get the settings, and you can actually turn off the animation if it annoys you. Uh, you can even turn off the sound if you don't like it. But what it is default to is these. Global warp setting by experiment and global alert sound by experiment. Now I turned it globally on because I like that. And same with the sound, because hey, who doesn't like the little clunk sound? Uh, but yes, if you have it set by experiment, you can individually set for each of the different types of experiments. So atmosphere analysis, atmospheric pressure scan, uh, crew report, let's see, EVA report, gravity scan, material study, mystery goo observation, my favorite, sample, seismic scan, and surface scan, and finally temperature scan. And for each of these, you can individually set how it alerts you. So you can either turn it on or off if you don't care to do any atmospheric scans, even though you may have an atmospheric sensor. Say you're waiting for the atmospheric sensor to be useful until you get to another planet. You don't want to use it before then. You can enable that or disable it however you like. If you, Like I said, if you don't want that animation, you can turn it on or off, same with the sound. And the fun thing is this, stop warp on discovery. And what that'll actually do is if we can do one of the experiments, it will stop you, even if you've warped all the way to the maximum warp, it'll bring it back down to normal speed on its own because there's science to be had. And you can even set filters here. So right now it's if it's unresearched or if it's not, you can set it if it's not maxed, if it's less than 50% or less than 90% collected or whatever filter you want to do. I, I quite like this. It's, it's very, very cool that you have all of this control for all the different pieces of scientific equipment. And it's, it gives you a bit of control that you just don't normally have in the game, which is wonderful. Now, if we back out to the Space Center and actually load up another craft that I have ready to go. Let's see here. Yes, clear the launch pad. Oh, <laughs> yes, collect the 7 point or the uh, yeah, 7.5 science earned on that mission. Woo. That's, that's always fun for everyone. And go to Orbital 2. With a good old Jeb, let's launch that. Now I've loaded this baby up with a lot more science, a lot of which I don't believe I have recorded yet on the launch pad, so we should get another bloop. Yes, there we go, and the lovely animation. And click that, and we see that I have atmospheric pressure scan, gravity scan, seismic scan, temperature scan, all ready to go, and we can just 
Click. Yay, I've taken that. I've taken that. I've taken that. And now I've taken that one as well. And if we set up for launch, we should get some more science as we go through the atmosphere. So if we launch in three, two, one. Godspeed, Jebediah. Godspeed. Oh, this I forgot that this is a very old rocket of mine. <laughs> oh, I haven't flown this thing in a very long time. But uh, it, it is working, and we did get some more science here. It did light up, but because of the engines, I did not hear the kerplunk. But we can do a crew report and material study as we're going. There we go. Yes, all good, all good. We are spinning out of control, but oh well. Let's reset the material bay. And there we go. We got more. Again, couldn't hear the little bloop because of the sound of the engines. But nonetheless... We can click, do another material study. There we go. Reset the bay from here. Now this is a horrible flight because I've been paying attention to this button rather than the flying of the ship. But if we click that, another material study. There we go. Boop. I'm getting science all over the place. I actually think I've probably gotten more science on this than any single mission I've done on this particular career save. <laughs> and oh, more science. Mystery goo observation. There we go. We got that, we've got that. And waiting for this thing to drop this last stage here. What are my resources at on this? Not bad. There we go, launch that. Yeah, I, I, I'm not really trying to get this thing into orbit. I'm just trying to see all the science I can to procure. Let's actually though check the map to see what I am doing. Oh, yeah, quite the height, quite the altitude on this. Oh my, let's just forget about this last engine. Drop that stage. And accelerate time until we hit our next bit of science. There we go, it stopped time on its own. Didn't take too long. And we can do an EVA report. It automatically knows that we don't have an EVA report to do here. And we can just get that taken care of and then just board the ship. I do like that it automatically pops out your Kerbal to do the report, so you don't have to worry about getting him out. He'll just pop right out, though you will want to be careful if it does an EVA report in a difficult situation. But if we time accelerate again until we get another bit of science, and, oh, unfortunately, time warp stopped itself since we're re-entering the atmosphere. But I am curious, because we should have another report while we're going down. So I am going to uh, force it forward. Yes, I am going to. So the 2x, hopefully it should knock it down at some point. Oh, we forgot to reset the material bay ages ago. Oh, science came up. Oh, and it did turn us back down to 1x, so even on that... Oh my, we do not want to EVA report while we're doing this. <laughs> that See, that? yeah, that's what you got to worry about. It will pop your Kerbal out on its own, so you may not want to click the EVA report while you're re-entering the atmosphere. That, that would be very, very bad. Uh, but yeah, there we go. We have another material study we can do. There we go, excellent. Pop out our landing gear here. I'm a little tempted to do another EVA report while we are falling down. Oh, material bay is good to go again. There we go, lovely. Oh, we are floating now, so if we reset that bay. Oh my, another material study. <laughs> We're just getting that left and right. There we go, keep the data. And... Reset that. That's the one thing. I wish it automatically reset. Wow, another material study. That is interesting. Oh my, we are getting a lot of science from that. Uh, that would be cool if it would auto reset the bay afterwards, because wow, it just keeps going at that material bay. I never realized that. Oh, oh my. Oh, don't tip, don't tip, don't tip. Okay. We're at an odd angle, but let's... Oh, intriguing. Once we've landed, it no longer allows me to do that crew report, because we should be able to do a crew report, because we have not done anything in this biome. Uh, but let's actually go on EVA. And... Oh, nope, didn't mean to board. 
Let go. Yeah, there we go. It. Oh, we're falling. It popped while we got out of the capsule. But then when we fell, it no longer did. Intriguing, though we should be able to do an EVA report. Oh, I guess we have done the grasslands before, so that would be why. But yeah, that is going to be the end of that mission. So, if we just head back to the space center and we'll recover that flight from in there, we should be able to grab all the science we need from that and recover. Yes. There we go, that EVA report. And recover that. And look at that, 54 science, and we got all of those reports, which I would have missed, personally, if I was having to do the science reports myself during a launch. I wouldn't have been paying attention to when we could do the mystery goo and material-based studies and all of that as we were launching. I'd be too busy paying attention to flying the ship, which, granted, the opposite occurred. I was so busy watching the science button that I didn't pilot the ship. But nonetheless, in just a simple launch, you know, 54 science isn't really a lot, but still, and just from a simple up and down mission into the atmosphere and a tiny bit into space, we were able to gather a, a good few scientific reports, all of which normally, personally, I would have missed because I just wouldn't have known when to actually do the individual reports. And yeah, that is why I, I absolutely love this mod. It is very useful and anyone who is in career mode on this game should download this. Now it does require the toolbar mod uh, to function, but that is a simple download mod. And well, if you have any sort of UI mods, you probably already have the toolbar. But uh, yeah, that is going to be it for this episode. A pretty short and simple one for a, well, I wouldn't say short and simple mod, but a very useful, succinct mod in uh, Science Alert. If you would like to take a look at it, you can follow the links in the description to go and download it for yourself. It is definitely worth a look if you are in to the science scene in this game. So please do go and check it out and have fun with it. And I hope you have enjoyed this episode and of course that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching my friends. And as always, have a good one.